So a recent study came out that less than 10% of people actually accomplish their big goals in life. And that used to be me. I had a list of 20 goals. By the end of the year, I'd accomplished such a small percentage of them. And what I realized was I lacked a system. And so out of frustration, I built a tool that has now helped me generate millions of dollars, get into the best physical shape of my life, and accomplish dozens of goals that used to be dreams that are now my reality. So I want to give you this tool for free and show you exactly how to use it. And if you implement this tool, you can completely transform your life in six months or less. So let's dive in. I'll walk you through exactly how to use this. So this is the tool, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to implement it. But before, you need to understand a few things in order to use it effectively. So number one is you wanna set one to three specific and measurable and meaningful goals that you are 100% committed to achieving. You're gonna take these goals and you're gonna write them in the form of declarations in the present tense. Goals are more pie in the sky where declarations are non-negotiables. Number two is you're gonna fill out the who, what, when, why, and how questions in each of those goal tabs because the more preparation that you do, the more you cement your goals into your psyche, the higher probability that you actually succeed. Number three is you're going to commit to two to four specific actions per goal that if you perform them over time will produce the results you desire. So you want to reverse engineer the behaviors that will lead to those goals and simply track those. So you're focusing on dribbling and shooting and you're just letting the scoreboard take care of itself. Number four is you gotta treat these behaviors as non-negotiables. This is your new code of conduct, your operating system that you live by. So know that if you consistently adhere to this code, your declarations will automatically manifest. Number five is remember the rule of two. It's okay if you're not perfect. If you miss one day, just don't miss a second one. The key is to build momentum until your new actions become habits, and then those new habits reinforce your new identity. If you miss one day, it's not gonna kill you, but if you miss two, it starts to build a pattern and you're reinforcing your old identity. Number six is gamify your habits. Make this fun. This is supposed to be like a video game where you're trying to level up. So each week you don't need to be perfect, but attempt to beat your prior score. And then once you're at 90 to 100% consistency, then increase the frequency or the intensity of those habits or just add additional habits to help you reach your next level. Number seven is the most overlooked and the most important is create accountability. Enroll a friend or some coworkers or anyone in your life that is equally committed to leveling up and hold a 30 minute weekly meeting where you can share your results, you can share your learnings, and you can hold each other accountable. The main reason people don't fulfill their goals is because they lack accountability. And while this is intended to gamify things and make it easier to hold yourself accountable, having a group of people that you're doing this with dramatically increases your success. So here we are in the magical Excel tool that's going to change your life. So at a macro level, this is what you're looking at. You have your goals, that you then turn into declarations. You then fill out the questions to cement those goals into your psyche to increase your probability of success. The habit tracker below is the behaviors that you must embody to achieve those goals. And if you consistently perform those behaviors, they directly lead to your goals and they automatically have to manifest. Again, the hard part is actually holding yourself accountable and staying consistent with the behaviors. So this is meant to help you have perfect clarity onto what behaviors you must exhibit that directly line up with your goals such that if you perform them consistently over enough period of time, those goals automatically manifest. And so let's break this down step by step. First, you want to have your goals in the form of declaration. So instead of saying, I want to make a million dollars, you are declaring it as an affirmative in the present. I earn $1 million annually. I am the number one sales rep in my company. You are then going to fill out the questions for these goals to cement them. Why must you achieve this? Goals without emotional reasons are worthless. Your goal might be a Ferrari and your emotional reasons, your why, that's the fuel. So you need powerful reasons that you must achieve that goal. Otherwise, you're not gonna make any movement. When it's achieved, how will I feel? It's really important to understand how do you think you're gonna feel when this goal is accomplished? Your job is to practice embodying that emotion in advance while you're pursuing the goal because you want to be on the emotional frequency of that which 
you want to attract. So if you're trying to make a million dollars and you're coming from a place of scarcity and fear, it's going to be really hard to attract that. So if you can imagine by the end of that million dollar victory, you're going to feel so abundant and powerful and proud and you can take that emotion into your day-to-day -day actions, you're going to collapse time and achieve that result much faster. What obstacles might I face? It's really important to understand what are the landmines that you're going to face? What are the things that are going to potentially deter you from achieving your goal? And then following up with how will I overcome those obstacles? It's worth spending a few minutes devising a strategy on how you're going to navigate and overcome the difficulties that you're going to face. And last is who can help. This is extremely underrated. Who not how is the solution to most things. You don't have to always know the how, but you have to figure out the who. So figure out who can actually help you, whether it's hiring a coach, whether it's getting consulting, whether it's studying somebody, but who are the people that can actually help you achieve your goal faster? So you wanna do that for each one of these goals. And I filled these out for you so that you can get a clear understanding of how this looks. Now, this is the key. So now that we have our goals listed as declarations and we have our questions filled out, so we've got those declarations cemented, we're completely clear and committed. Now we have to figure out what are the most important behaviors that if performed would automatically lead to these goals. And remember the 80-20 principle. 80% 80 of activities create virtually no progress and 20% of activities yield all of the results when it comes to accomplishing your goals. So you have to be selective and find the right behaviors that are actually creating traction directly towards your goals. On the left-hand side here, we're going to write down two to four behaviors for each of our goals. We're going to set the cadence of how much activity do we want to put out and how often do we want to perform them. And then on the right here, we can track ourselves daily, weekly, and monthly to get our score to give us an accurate understanding of how well we're performing against those goals. And each week, our goal is just to improve our last score. It's not about being perfect. It's just about having fun, gamifying it, and getting better at consistently doing the things that we know consciously are going to get us to our results, are going to get us to the goals that we want. So let's break down my example, and I'll show you exactly my thought process on how to derive these behaviors from your goals. So number one, I said I earn one million annually, and I'm the number one sales rep in the company. The best behaviors that I could see leading to that, number one would be 100 client prospect outreach messages that I'll do every day, Monday through Friday, five times a week. I'm going to study sales and influence 30 minutes a day, six times a week. And I'm going to review sales calls for self-improvement 30 minutes, five times a week. And I am rationalizing that if I do these things, if I study, if I review sales calls and I have a crazy amount of activity that I'm tracking, it's going to lead to the right results. I'm in the best shape of my life, 200 pounds, 8% body fat. The three best behaviors I could see for that was intense weightlifting five times a week, zone two cardio three times a week, and having a perfect macro diet where I'm eating correctly seven times a week. So if I do those three things consistently, my body would have no chance but to transform into the goal that I've set. And the last one is I'm a top finance YouTuber with 100,000 subscribers on my channel. Simple for me, I'm like, the only two things I gotta do for that is write content for the videos. So I said, I'm gonna write one hour, five days a week. Now you might wanna do two days a week and do six hours. You can do whatever you want. And then I said, I have to film and post two videos per week. And I put one day, cause I'm gonna have a batch day where I'm gonna probably do six hours of filming for those videos, right? So you can set the cadence, you can set the level of activity, but this is a game, guys. This is a game. So you wanna play with it. If you're consistently hitting 100% of your goals, you're probably setting too small of goals. So either add new ones in or increase the velocity, the intensity, the amount you're doing, because you wanna stretch yourself and play a game with yourself to reach a new level, just like a video game. So this is essentially how it works. You wanna track yourself every week, every month, every quarter. And again, your goal is to gamify this and beat your scores because if you perform these behaviors consistently, which is the hardest part, your goals over time will have to manifest. If you're doing the correct activities, then those goals will come to fruition. The hardest part is just staying consistent with behaviors. And so this is intended to get you away from looking at the scoreboard and focusing on the results and focusing on the court, dribbling and shooting, doing the daily behaviors that will lead you to the results that you want. So there it is, the magic Excel habit tracker. We have two links for you. One of them is the example that I just went through. The other one is a 
blank tool that you can fill out with your goals so you can implement this for your life. And I can't wait to see the results you produce with it. If you utilize this tool effectively, you will be that few percent of people that actually get what you really want out of life. I want to hear about all the results and progress you guys are making. So drop some comments below. Remember that insights lead to epiphanies, but only actions lead to breakthroughs. So don't watch this video and then move on to the next one. Actually take the time to implement this into your life as your operating system and your life will completely transform in six to 12 months. I want to hear about the transformations you're doing. I want to hear about the results you're getting. So drop some comments below. Let's go crush it together.